Greetings, everyone. This is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon, and in this weekly video tip, we're going to talk about sound quality. Sound quality is one of those things that has been one of the characteristics of Song Surgeon over the past decade. We've had emails over the years telling us how the sound quality is better than what you find in Audacity or in the Tascam Trainer or Riffmaster. We've even had emails from people who view, who are using Cubase or Pro Tools and tell us that the sound quality after key and tempo change is equal to or better than what you get in those two $100 products. And I say $100 products, that's really an underestimation. They're hundreds of dollars. And in the case of Pro Tools, it can even push up over $1,000. So sound quality is an important feature in Song Surgeon. It's excellent in Song Surgeon. And today I'd like to dig a little deeper into the sound quality options that you have, explain them to you, and then turn you loose so you can use these perhaps a little more in the future. So let's begin by looking at the two places on the user interface where we have algorithm settings. And of course, one is here um, where you can toggle between P, T, and V. P and T, which roughly translate to performance and transcribe were the two algorithms you had in version four and version three. Uh, the V algorithm stands for voice, roughly speaking, and that's how you should use these three. Now, beyond that, though, we have this submenu for algorithms, and we should talk about these things in some more detail. Typically, if you're changing key or tempo, and you're changing it by a small amount, let's say plus or minus 15%, the performance algorithm is probably your best bet. It's a trade-off between quality versus CPU power, and I think for most applications, in most situations, it will be acceptable. If it's not, you can actually increase the quality settings related to performance by changing some of these down here, and we'll go into that in just a second. If you are doing transcribing or you are slowing tempo down significantly because you want to hear uh, something more clearly as it's slowed down, then transcribe or the T algorithm is the better setting. Uh, the V algorithm is simply for uh, a voice recording or a single instrument. It'll give you pretty good quality and it takes little to no processing power. So that's just a general overview of these three settings. And again, those are the same three settings you can see here. Now let's drill down a little bit and talk about P for performance. So the P for performance gives you quality setting of best. There are lower quality settings you see here. We can go from best to better to good to preview. But by default, the performance algorithm is typically set to this. And as I say, in most cases, I think the quality is going to be fine. So for the performance algorithm, if you want to get better quality, then you can go down here to the Lambda and you can check some of these other settings. Now let's just go past these first several and really what you should focus on are polyphonic one, two, and three. These will give you better sound quality in most cases than the plain performance algorithm, but they also take a lot more CPU power and for some, in fact, for many computers, you probably won't be able to play these in real time. So let's just give you an example here. I have a song loaded up. We're going to play it in the performance mode with the default settings. Up the stereo. It's a road trip. Wind out the window. Road trip. Okay, and that plays just fine. But if we go down here and we change it to, let's say, Polyphonic 1, it will play it, but it may stutter a bit. It may stop and start. So let's watch and let's listen. So you hear that stuttering, and that's because it's processing, and the processing is not keeping up with the playback. So what you can do and this is the same whether you're in polyphonic one, two, or three, so you can pause it, let the processing get ahead of the playback, and then you can play it again, and now it will not stutter until the playback catches up with the processing. And vacation, road trip, final destination somewhere. Now, 
every time you change a setting, though, it resets the processing because it has to reprocess the file. So we're on Polyphonic 1, processing now at 46%, 47. If we change this to 2, now we started playing, you'll see that it goes back to zero again because it's reprocessing it. The takeaway lessons here really are that Polyphonic 1, Polyphonic 2 and Polyphonic 3 are alternative settings to the default performance algorithm setting, and they'll likely give you better quality, but you may have trouble previewing them in real time. And if you need to preview them in real time, and I suggest that you're going to want to so you can listen and hear the quality, then you're going to have to start it playing and then pause it and let the processing proceed until it gets ahead far enough that you can then resume playback and hear several bars of this to be able to sort of ascertain the quality. Sun says 10 miles to Memphis, the sun is low and I keep right. Be so as you can hear, it plays okay until it catches up with the processing and we're just at that point right now. So let's listen and you'll hear that it'll start to stop and stutter again. And this really is a function of the processing, meaning that it takes a whole lot of CPU power and a whole lot of memory to be able to process at these very high quality settings. That's why on some computers, in fact, probably on the majority of computers, you will not be able to play this real time straight through without pausing the processing. Now, once you've ascertained that a quality setting is what you want, and you hear the quality that you like to have in the final version, the good news is you can export this, use those quality settings, and it will apply those to the final product. And you don't have to worry about whether it starts or stops, whether you need to pause processing or not. You essentially just go through the exporting process as you normally would. It will apply this setting, and when you're done, then you can open it up and play it back and it will play through real time using just the default setting and it'll play perfectly. And you'll hear the Polyphonic 3 setting really coming through because that's how you've processed it. So that's the good news is even if you have a lower powered computer, you can still use these higher quality settings on export. So that should give you a bit more information into the different algorithm settings that you have. This is an important thing for you to grasp and understand, and then you may want to delve into some of these alternative settings that are available in version 5 that were not available in version 4. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again next week.